I've been tired of hose connectors get that get banged up and leak like crazy when you plug them in. So I'm moving to a new system. The new system is a quick connect. I use brass quick connect. You can get plastic ones. I like brass because they don't wear out, get crumbly because of the sunlight. Um, and you add these on, this is a set that you add on to both sides of the appliance and the hose. And what they do is they allow you to instantly take these apart so you don't have to keep screwing, unscrewing, and that's where all the damage comes from. So the pieces fit together like this, where you would, you pull this back a little and push it forward and it snaps shut. Now it's connected. And to disconnect, you again push back and pull this apart. Okay, push, pull, and it's connected. And um, to implement this, you basically screw this on to the existing male and you screw this on to the existing female very tight and then you have this again you have this um, lock that allows you to instantly open and close so this is very 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 durable and you're not always screwing and unscrewing and the damaging the threads because these don't move at all and so it's a very, very easy solution to what I find was a perennial garden problem of um, leaky um, threads. There are lots of um, makers of these. These are just generic pieces. Um, and um, I'll have links on the ones that work for me. They're pretty solid. They seem to work very tightly, um, but there are a whole bunch of suppliers, mostly in China, for these. Uh, I don't know how different they are. The set that I will link to work for me. These hair scissors have proven to be really useful during the pandemic. I've been using them to cut my wife and my daughter's hair. I don't know the name of the manufacturer. They're ostensibly made in Japan. I'll provide a link to the ones that I bought on Amazon, but I really don't know what they're called. There's no information about it, but I'll have to say for the price, which was I think a little over $10, these scissors have been great. They fit really well in the hand. I don't think they'd work for a left-handed person, but a right-handed person will work really well. They're very sharp and I've cut my wife and daughter's hair quite a few times and my own hair as well. And there's no sign of it getting dull. It also comes with a piece of, I think probably fake leather for cleaning it. I've never used that. And also this tool, I don't know what it is. Is it a screwdriver? Or well, maybe it's uh, some way to get in there and, and open it up if you want to clean the, the parts or adjust them or something. Anyway, if you need to cut your family member's hair, this pair of inexpensive scissors is really great. Today, I'm going to share how I use these water slide decals to create a custom coffee mug. The first thing I did is print out the image I want to use, which is the Recommendo logo. And I printed out a few of them in case I mess up. Next, I sealed the decals using crystal clear acrylic spray. I followed a tutorial video that I found on YouTube called Make Amazing Water Slide Decals for Tumblers, Mugs, and Glasses, which I will link to in the description. After the decals are properly sealed, I submerge them in water for about 30 seconds to a minute. 
And at that point, the backing is ready to slide off and the decal can be positioned and adjusted and any air bubbles can be smoothed out. Then I let the mug sit for about three hours so the decal can dry. And after three hours, it's ready to be put in the oven to bake for 15 minutes at 230 degrees Fahrenheit. And in the end, you have this cool custom mug that was super easy to make. Again, for the more in-depth and professional tutorial video, check out the link below. Also, I discovered this water slide decal paper through Gareth's Tips, Tools, and Shop Tales newsletter, which I will also share a link to in this description. Thank you.